One of the most difficult questions anyone will ever ask you is what do you want to be? At three, I imagine my answer was Ninja Turtle. Could never have more perfectly predicted how much of a mutant I would feel as a teenager, but at four, all I wanted to be was bigger. Slip off the shell of child. Shake my innocence away and understand adult. Isn't it funny how badly we can wish to escape something only to want to turn around and have it back? At five, I cracked open the kindergarten dress-up box. Wanted to be doctor, firefighter, never princess. Ended up only with a head full of lice. I was itching to discover who I was. Turns out, a lot of times the options we see only scratch the surface of every true possibility. So at six, seven, eight, nine, I wanted to be like my great grandmother's daughter, a teacher. Lost to breast cancer, she talked about her a lot. I liked the thought of standing up at the front of the class at 10, 11, 12. I wanted to be anywhere other than the front of the class. Grasped any opportunity to avoid attention. Saw masks go on my peers overnight. We were the 31st of October all year long, disguising ourselves rather than risk being exposed as a freak at 13. I felt freak rumble in my stomach for the first time. Clenched my teeth and swallowed hard to keep it down. 14 was a distracting blur of new school, new classmates, new ways to hate ourselves. 15 just seemed like everybody wanted to be somebody else. At 16, I wanted to be not gay. 17, not gay, 18, not gay, 19, not afraid to be who I really was on the inside, outside. It would take me five more years to accomplish this goal. So by 24, I finally just wanted to be me. Shut the scrapbook of my soul up on billboards. I had heard this was the time that I should have it all figured out. But by 25, I just started realizing there were a lot of things I could be that I had never even dreamed before, like stage performer, like business owner, like really happy. 26, 27, 8, 9, I realized there is a big line dividing what you want to be and who you want to be. So I began answering the question less with the profession and more with confessions of things I hadn't been the best at yet. I want to be giving, grateful, joyful, more, stubborn, selfish, judgmental, less. Yes, in my 30s, I am definitely still a work in progress. But it is a refreshing breath to realize that if something slips on your shoulders that doesn't feel okay in your heart, you have the option of many days ahead to shed that skin and change. I can't say for sure there is an age when you finally find the magic answer to it all. But I do know that eventually people will stop asking you what you want to be. And I think our real job is to each day simply consider who we're becoming and make revisions as necessary.